party gamers. We are back and better than ever. I have about two and a half hours to go through my entire wardrobe. Today's plan of action is to go through every single item in my wardrobe, my dresser, my closet, try it on, donate, pack the things that I know I won't be wearing. I'm actually kind of excited to move. I just feel very, what's the word? Unprepared. First things first, we need to organize and lay out all of my clothes. So let's do it, yo. Little plug here. My Spotify is keely.lin with two N's. You wanna see what music I'm listening to. I think I'm gonna put on my healing my 16 year old self playlist. I think I need to get back in touch with reality. <laughs> I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true. I was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you. I didn't want to believe my feelings for you. I didn't want to believe that I could lose you. If I told you just how I felt Okay, I just got done sorting all my clothes and there is genuinely so many while I was going through it, I was like trying to gauge like what I want to donate and what I don't. I'm gonna need to like buckle down on myself because I think like my biggest thing is I feel really bad donating things that people have given to me as gifts or donating things that I have bought myself because I'm like I wasted money. Some of these clothes just aren't my style anymore. I just feel so bad donating things that like I asked for for like Christmas or my birthday. Even if it was years ago, <laughs> I feel really bad. But I am gonna donate all that I can. I have organized all my clothes. This includes like pajamas as well as just everyday clothes. I have my pants, my jackets, sweatshirts, and my shirts back there. It's like I'm in a Target dressing room. <laughs> So we've run into our first little controversy. Everything else I've been pretty sure about. Basics are obviously essential, but it's like a matter of like how many basics and how similar they are. I have this black shirt and it used to fit me more firmly, but I actually really like how it fits me right now. But it had me thinking as to if I need this oversized one. I don't think I really like this one anymore. Now that I know that this one like fits me very nicely, I think I might donate this. First donation of the night. Let's continue. I've been thinking about like basics and necessities and if I really need more than one of the same thing. Debating if I should choose one or the other flannel. This one's more fitted. It's more sleek almost. It's more fall vibes. <laughs> I really like this flannel. Realistically, I'm not trying to be like a minimalist. I just want to keep only what I need. Moral of the story, I'm gonna keep both of these. I think we have our first maybe because on one hand, I don't really like how this looks on me. I probably wouldn't wear it out in public but it's a solid like pajama shirt, also a good hair dye shirt. So that's where I'm stuck right now. I think I'm gonna keep it. Just, well, oh, fuck. Okay, I keep it and if I don't wear it in the next two months, then I'll donate it. I will say, this is making me very excited for fall. Fall is like my favorite season for like fashion and just thinking about like layering this with that black turtleneck, I can't wait, I'm gonna keep this. This is something I thrifted not long ago, but I haven't worn it once and I feel kind of bad for not liking it because I bought it. It's like this oversized like, well, okay. Wait, I have not worn it once. It's like this oversized, really pretty color Levi polo. I like it, but I think she has to go to the to the donation bin. Kind of sad, but 
Next article is this shirt that I got for my birthday. I think it was last year. It's really cute. I really like this shirt, but I just don't ever reach for it. Like, it's really cool. That's my issue right now. Damn. Okay, I think I should let it go because I haven't worn it in a very long time. This one's tricky because I do really like this shirt, but also I never wear it. But also, it goes really well with this flannel, so I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm on the fence with this one because while I don't reach for it often, it's a really nice shirt. I think if I had like a dark wash pair of jeans that matched the dark blue, I think that'd be really cute. So I'm gonna keep this. If you had watched my last clean out closet, nope. Did I say that last time? I swear to God I did. My last <laughs> closet clean out video, I was very torn with this shirt and um, nothing's changed. It's been a whole year. I haven't worn it once but I can't fucking let go of it. And that's an issue in itself, I know that. I just, I think I'm gonna keep it simply because I cannot let it go. And that's really bad. And that was supposed to be what I overcome in this video. We are on our last shirt time check. I've been doing this for 45 minutes, so. <laughs> okay, last shirt is this really cute vest I got from H&M. I think I'm definitely gonna keep it. It's really cozy and nice switching angles just for the fuck of it. Sweatshirts are gonna be hard. I have like comfort hoodies. Basically hoodies I wear whenever I'm not doing good mentally. Most of my hoodies are comfort hoodies, so we will see. Starting off strong with my oversized, very oversized Midland hoodie, and I've called it my breakdown hoodie since 2019, so. Like, are you kidding me? I have to keep this. I feel like with my hoodies, I want to talk more about them because I genuinely like kind of love my collection I have going. This one's one I got recently. It says vintage 1979. It's kind of sick. I kind of like it a lot. And it's oversized and comfy. This one was just gifted to me by my best friend and her big sister gave it to her first and then she never wore it so she gave it to me. It's like a really oversized grandpa sweater. Realistically, truthfully. I don't need it. Okay, I'm gonna see if she wants it back and then I'm gonna see if my other friend Brayden wants it. But if not, I think I'm gonna donate it. fucking kidding me right now every time i put this on i'm like this is the best thing i've ever owned it's corduroy burnt orange blazer like in the fall christmas are you kidding me are you kidding me right now you know whenever you get like not the best quality sweatshirt and, and the inside starts to like become kind of crusty do you know what i'm talking about that's what this one's doing and it's not the most comfortable look at tahoe i learned that that's like in like nevada or something who would have thunk I'm so conflicted. This was like my staple September of last year. Inside is like not comfortable anymore. Before I donate them, I'm gonna see if my friends want them because they're little sluts for some depression hoodies too. So we'll see. This one's also very saddening. Like, it's so comfy, but I never, ever, ever reach for it. I think I'm gonna donate it because I have not reached for it and it's not my favorite, so. Basically, long story short, in 2019, I had a red pullover. Um, pretty basic thing, but I gave it to my friend Mariah. Afterwards, I kind of regretted it because like, I really liked it. I wanted another one. So I went to the store and I bought this one. The issue is it's doing that gross crusty inside thing. So realistically I should donate it, but I know for a fact that I'm going to regret it. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Literally the worst quality on the inside. It's so nasty. And this one's like the same. I think I'm gonna donate this one. I think I need to let it go. It was my staple in 2020. We need to let things go. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Keely, you donated some really nice quality sweaters, but you're gonna keep this one literally falling apart. And to that I say absolutely.
this isn't my comfiest pullover but with like a pair of jeans because the blue ties together i just feel kind of put together in this one it's like not like a depression sweatshirt it's like i'm actually doing something with my life sweatshirt so i'm gonna keep it but we are down to the last two sweatshirts this is my grandpa sweater i was talking about i just like the colors more compared to this one keeping this last jacket is a jacket i literally just got in the mail yesterday it's this really fucking cute cape town hoodie and it glows in the dark it's genuinely so comfortable i got it oversized but it's like oversized in the right way you know what i mean the little heart for the o are you kidding me a solid hood too so it's two o'clock now and i have to go to work at three i get off of work at 7 30. i feel so stressed out right now i'll show you all my room just for reference this is what i'm keeping and this is what I'm donating. My donation pile is literally minuscule. All the clothing I'm keeping is like stuff that genuinely brings me so much joy. But with that being said, we still have one more category and that is pants. But I'm tired. <laughs> I'll see you at 7.30 and we'll continue this mess of a video. It's the next day. I didn't film last night. I had like a really bad migraine yesterday and it's like carrying over to right this second. I'm so cold and tired and I don't feel good. First discrepancy of the pants section. I wore them all the time a couple years ago, but I have not touched them this summer. I don't know, I think I'm gonna donate them actually. I don't have the energy to try to unzip these right now, but they do fit. Believe it or not, they do fit. And I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> Okay, so these pants are way too big on me, like to a fault. These are my only pair of jeans. <laughs> Once I thrift another pair that actually fits me, I will get rid of these. Every sentence that I spoke began and okay, so I really like these pants, but they're in the same boat as the other clothes that like, I want to find a replacement before I donate it because it's like kind of a staple in my wardrobe. I mean like, they're cute. I want some pants like this that are more flowy and that go with more things. Cause these like pretty much only go with a white top and they're kind of tight, which I don't prefer. I'm going to keep them for now, but donate later. Okay, so these are really cute and I got them for Christmas a few years ago. I don't reach for them as much as I should. I think I prefer like a sweatpant that's more neutral. So I'm gonna donate these. I do love them and I had a great time with them. <laughs> like These are the last pair of pants. I'm so happy. And I'm keeping these. These were actually hand sewn and made by my best friend Sydney three years ago. But that is it for my pants section. Yes. Okay, my camera's gonna die like any second, so I gotta make this quick. I'm going to go downstairs and get boxes and start packing things that I'm gonna keep, but I'm not gonna wear this next week. I don't feel good. Last year I did a video just like this. I tried on everything in my closet and I donated, except <laughs> I never got the motivation to take it to a thrift store. So it's still in my closet. These are all the clothes from last year that I've yet to donate. I'm gonna go through everything and then see if like my friends want anything else in here. Okay, so now that I have all my donations sorted out and packed, I need to pack my regular clothes. I'm like super overwhelmed with the amount of clothes I'm keeping. That's everything I'm keeping and I have to pack that. I think how I should approach this, basically plan out what I'm gonna wear this next week. Let's do it, yo. Quick little disclaimer. If you've noticed that I haven't tried on some of my clothes, it's because they're dirty. Go with the 
Okay, I packed my outfits for the next few days. So these are like hanging outfits slash moving fit during the weekend. And then those are my two work outfits. And then this is what I have to pack now. Let's get to packing. officially packed all of my clothes and look how minuscule I look. I should so make a box for it after this. That concludes this first part of this moving series, which means now I can move on to my decorations. Stay tuned for very soon. I'll be posting that. Hope you stick around. Oh god. This is so